Hey there everyone, this is Seb and welcome to another vlog thingy. You guys seem to really enjoy these vlog thingies, so I figured, you know, it's time for another one. And uh, I really appreciate that you do. Um, it, it's something that I never expected that, you know, just vlogs seemed like nothing that I could ever do, but apparently it's something that some people really enjoy after all. So. Um, I will try to do these more often again and uh, maybe weekly, maybe be weekly and whenever I have something to talk about at least uh, <laughs> Otherwise, it would just be a very boring uh, video, I suppose um, But yeah, do let me know if you have some topics to go over as well, then, uh, then I can uh, Take them into consideration, of course. Anyway, um I hope you are also enjoying the Battle of Olympus uh, videos. I've been hard at work in getting them out there on a timely fashion, uh, like once uh, a week. It's a lot of fun to work on those again and it's great to see them finally come together. Otherwise I've been taking it a bit easy because uh, two weeks ago, I think I said it in the last vlog thingy, I did have surgery again, this time on, uh, on my wrist here. Um, so, you know, some things are still a bit difficult, uh, especially stuff like typing, uh, that, that can still be a bit uh, problematic. Uh, otherwise, uh, surgery itself went fine. I hope this will be the final surgery for a long while, because uh, two or three surgeries a year, it's really been uh, getting on my nerves. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this one, uh, this one was, um, um, you know, in the pipeline for a while. Uh, about half a year ago we decided you know it would be best to have it done uh, but I wait I told them to wait it out until after the European Championship so right after I went back in the same week uh, we had it done uh, basically what I did is um, they shortened the ulna in your wrist or not in your wrist in your forearm you have two large bones on the pinky side you have the ulna on the thumb side you have the radius and the ulna apparently in my arm or arms it's kind of vague um, but yeah in, in, in my case it's a bit too long causing it to bump up against the wrist bones which is no good um, you do have a, a piece of uh, cartilage there to prevent that which is called the TFCC the, the triangular uh, fibrocartilage complex yes <laughs> I know my anatomy um, However, uh, over the years, uh, playing goalball mostly, <laughs> I kind of uh, destroyed mine, which caused my wrist to get unstable and uh, it made a lot of noise and such and it just caused me some discomfort. Um, not to a point where I couldn't function anymore, but uh, yeah, some things got really, really uh, painful. For example, when I put pressure on my wrist, that was something that would... Uh, sent me um, <laughs> well, shoot uh, some pain through my arms so um, basically what they did is they uh, cut the bone and then cut uh, made another cut and then removed like um, I think they said half a centimeter which sounds like a lot actually come to think of it but uh, yeah they removed that and they put the pieces together again and put a plate on it and uh, well then they basically stabilize it uh, you know basically because it's more like a fracture at that point um, and uh, surgery went well it's uh, so yeah that, uh, that's good I hope it uh, does uh, does me some good now I do notice that my wrist is still nagging quite a bit maybe it just wants freedom I don't know <laughs> but uh, yeah we'll see after a couple of weeks uh, how things will progress and hopefully I can play sports again because uh, honestly, that's something that I do really miss now, where I, uh, uh, you know, you, you, you're noticing that you're more inactive than you used to be, at least in a physical way. Um, so yeah, I am trying to work more now on laying down the strategy of my channel and, uh, and that kind of stuff. But again, uh, typing and such, it's still a bit difficult, so... There's only so much you can do, but uh, still, I'm slowly working up there and, uh, you know, enjoying some free time, I suppose, which I already have a lot of, but, <laughs> oh well, never complained about uh, free time, I suppose. Um, something else that's kind of difficult and is uh, more in line with what I actually want to talk about is uh, playing the piano. 
um, and some of you guys have been asking me, you know, Seb, um, are we going to see some video game covers in the future? And you know, I am actually kind of up to that. Um, now, I'm not up to that point where I can actually do that, <laughs> because my piano skills suck. Uh, however, I am very much open to the idea of moving towards that and, and you know, playing some tunes down the line. Um, so, in that regard, I would like to uh, ask you guys for some advice, like what do you think are some easy or easier pieces to start with um, to learn towards on the piano um, when in regards of uh, video games? Now, I will say that uh, reading notes is still possible for me, however, it is very difficult. Um, so, please don't start off with very complex pieces <laughs> with a lot of different weird notations. <laughs> because A, I'm just not that great at uh, reading notes yet. And uh, B, uh, just reading in general is kind of a, a, a thing for me. So, <laughs> keep that in mind. Um, and of course, I'm, I'm just not that skilled yet. Um, I, will, I will try. Um, to record something to give you an idea of where I'm about. Uh, again, it's kind of hard right now because I can't even find the right position <laughs> at, the pro at the moment. That, that's just a problem. Um, but I can still play somewhat uh, the piano, so I will, I will try and, and put a, uh, a video up in which you can kind of listen to what I'm doing now. I'm actually having um, quite a bit of fun of just learning the piano, I must say. And that has a lot to do with uh, just having an amazing teacher. Um, of course, I don't have much of a reference. I never had any other piano teachers. But this guy, he knows his stuff, man, I think, at least. Um, he is very flexible. Right? For example, right now, he just wrote a piece for me to learn uh, with only the left hand and, and you know, he's very flexible like that. Uh, okay, so you can't uh, easily play with two hands? Okay, so we do uh, only one hand. And um, of course there have been pieces written in the past uh, for only one hand, uh, because you know, some piano players do lose hands and they want to keep it up uh, as well, obviously. However, they tend to be very, very hard and go all over the keyboard. So he wrote a uh, easier piece like that, and uh, it's just awesome. Uh, also, the the song, uh, the the piece I will play is something that he put together. Uh, I don't think it's from anything, um, but I don't know. I, I don't recognize it at least. And uh, uh, please don't expect any high skill from me. Uh, I, I'm generally just not good, and especially not now. I'm a bit worse even. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that is a piece I learned over the summer and uh, um, I, I kind of uh, can demonstrate, I suppose, to give you an idea of the skill level I'm at. And so yeah, if you, if you have any idea of uh, video gaming music that's kind of easy to learn for the piano, at least on the easier spectrum, then do give me a heads up and I can see if I can uh, um, pick something up over the years. And, you know, once I do feel comfortable with something, then I can actually make a video of that and do a little cover or something. Um, the cool thing about my teacher is that he also does uh, a lot of music theory and, 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 and uh, that does help me to understand music better in general. So maybe I can eventually even find a way to uh, create my own covers, that, that'd be awesome. Uh, but yeah, I'm nowhere near at that part yet, but uh, it, it does sound like something that uh, uh, I want to do. Um, and yeah, something else I just want to talk about in general is the music in, in video games. Uh, because how important is that actually for you guys? Uh, I'm curious because um, opinions on that seem to vary quite a bit. Um, even for me, back... Um, like uh, with my father, I, it, it's like a very big uh, difference, me and my father. Uh, I tend to always enjoy music in video games, well not always, there's, there is some uh, music in video games that is just 
bad. Um, I was with Mark the other day, Mark here, uh, Lacto Bacillus Prime, and we played some 1942 on the NES. And uh, yeah, he, that was a very, very, um, how should we put this lightly? <laughs> there was a lot of thought put in that with composition, I don't think. <laughs> Uh, it was uh, crap, basically, and you know. But in generally, in general, I think music can really add something to a video game, and I tend to prefer um, music over sound effects. And my father, he is the other way around. He is actually when he plays a game, he tends to always turn off music completely and only have the sound effects. Now, I don't say that sound effects don't have a place in video games. I actually think that sound effects if anything can really help um, enhance the game feel even uh, whereas music can help in the immersion and yes I think there is a difference between immersion and game feel but yeah uh, for example like gunshot if you have like a, a very um, canny very toy gun like sound effect it just doesn't feel right but if you have a, a true a uh, gunshot that has some oomph to it, that feels right and very much satisfying. Um, however, I also really like the uh, music part of games where they can really help you in the immersion and, and build on the atmosphere. Uh, I find that very important. So to get back to my father and, and I, um, when the, we would have uh, Commodore days where we just play some Commodore uh, 64 games uh, back in the day, um, you know, it was. Uh, it really depended on who was closest to the keyboard or the joystick as to what setting would be played on because I would prefer the, the sit music and my father would prefer the sound effects and uh, <laughs> of course I would prefer both but in, in those days uh, that wasn't always possible, especially not on uh, the Commodore 64 unfortunately and uh, yeah, so it just seems like uh, people have different opinions on that, so what are your opinions on, on music and video games? How important is music for you? Can you play without it? Because if I play without music, I, I am missing something. Um, I seriously... Um, it, it just doesn't feel complete to me. I need some music, um, even if the music isn't spectacular. Although 1942 might be the exception there. Uh, there I could do without the music. <laughs> but in general, even if it's not the greatest piece, I, I still miss something if it's not there. But um, yeah, it might just be me. So I'm just curious, what do you think of music in video games? How important is it to you? And uh, what are actually your favorite video game uh, tracks in, in general? So um, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. And yes, of course, um, video game music to me is also um, like a special genre almost because unlike pop music or many other genres, it, it's much more dependent on building a music that is um, enjoyable, but not only for the duration of the track, but longer. So it, it tends to be very melodic, um, but... I don't know how to explain this, um, you know, it, 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 it's, it, um, it tends to be enjoyable even when it's looping and, and I really appreciate that in that kind of music, it's great background music. Um, usually when I work on something then I tend to turn on some gaming music as well because it's just great background music that doesn't distract me as much. Um, and I do think that uh, video game music did lose some of that flair as um, uh, CD formats got more into um, got more of a prominent role, um, where we got more overproduced music, orchestral stuff, which um, fits more into traditional genres. But still, there's plenty of uh, music tracks out there in video games that I think fit that uh, video game music kind of genre just fine. And um, yeah, that, that's great. Um, and that is also something that really helped me keep my interest in, in, in um, music in general. Now, I've always had like this this idea of 
wanting to play some music. And I actually, before I, I started playing piano, I actually did um, get an ocarina, uh, like, I don't know, a few years back. And not just to play Zelda tunes, by the way, it was just in general an easy instrument to learn and uh, yeah, I had some fun with that. However, there are limitations in that and you know, I never practice it very much. Um, I just enjoy the sound of piano more, but it was like an instrument that I picked up and, and that gave me an idea like, okay, so even I can learn some music at least. Um, although I never practiced it enough to really get any good at it. I think the furthest I got was like uh, playing a very slow version of the Tetris A tune. I don't know. <laughs> and of course some Zelda tunes, but uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. So if you've ever been thinking about playing an instrument, then you know, just go for it. Um, and I am glad I, I went with a teacher for my piano lessons in that regard. So anyway, again, if you have any idea of any decently easy um, piano pieces for video games, then do please let me know and I will go after them. And otherwise I will just, um, you know, keep on doing my thing and get better. And eventually I will find my way to the great video game music eventually. But if you have any directions that can help, then uh, I'd be very much appreciative to uh, learn of that. And um, we'll see if I can play anything in the coming uh, months. I don't know. Anyway, I will go upstairs and I will try to give you a little performance. Uh, if the video ends here, then you know it failed. <laughs> if it doesn't, then, uh, um, then I am going to be very ashamed of myself once it's actually uploaded because uh, yeah, probably not gonna be very impressive but uh, <laughs> we'll see about it anyway guys thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it join me next time and until then take care bye bye for now